This is why you should overclock your new 5080. Last night, I was playing a game with my buddy. We were playing Call of Duty Warzone. We did a test on the big map and on uh, Rebirth Island. But basically, he did overclock his uh, his 5080. He's got the Astral version. Basically, he said he went to uh, Jay's Two Cents video. I'm pretty sure that's who's like, actual overclock he used. So definitely go check out Jay's Two Cents overclock video on the 5080. But basically, we were uh, playing... Like I said, Warzone, we tried both maps out, the big map and the small map. I think the big map, I was getting about 20 FPS more than him or so, and that's with his overclock. But on Rebirth Island, because obviously maps are different, they're optimized differently, stuff like that. But on Rebirth Island, on uh, the 4K settings that I was running at, my average after a full match was uh, 232. And his was, I believe it was uh, 223 or something. That's only a 9 FPS difference, considering the fact that it's a 5080 and it's a 4090. I know the you know previous generations, the, uh, the 80 series has always beaten the flagship. This year, it's obviously different, right? We all know that. If you could get your 5080, a handful of percentage, to the 4090, I think it's well worth it. I'm not talking about going crazy overclocking in your bios or nothing like that. This is literally just using MSI Afterburner sliding a couple uh sliders you know what i mean nothing crazy uh shout out to my guy average larry gg he will be posting a video about his experience with the overclock as well i'm just gonna go show you some charts from uh jay's two cents right here uh avatar frontiers of pandora okay we got 4k high preset and as you can see this is the overclocked one that's highlighted well somewhat highlighted but the average is 78 and then the founder's edition not overclocked is 70. So that's the 8 FPS uh, uplift just on this game alone. Now, is it a crazy uplift? No. But if you guys want to get the most out of what you guys paid for, then a slight overclock might help it. Now, if you have a 4090, this is not overclocked. Like, So this is comparing it to a, a non-overclocked 4090. I'm not telling you to overclock your 4090. It probably does what it needs to do anyway. I'm not overclocking this one. I don't really see a reason for me to, but uh, but again, this is a 4K. I'll hit play here. We'll go over to the 1440p. That's an eight uh, FPS difference right there. At 1440p, we're getting a 10 FPS difference. Now it is going from 130 to 140 compared to what we were back there, but again, 10 FPS difference. This could be the difference in uh, max out your monitor or not. You never know. Pretty solid, uh, pretty solid uplift for just just doing a, doing a couple sliders on MSI Afterburner. So again, if you guys are one of the uh, 500, 600 people, I don't even know how what the actual tally was on the 5080s. It's probably more than that, but you guys get what I'm saying. The, the stock was low. If you guys happen to get one of these and you guys aren't against overclocking, then this might be something that you guys want to look into. This is 1080p, so I feel like it probably be smaller, but. More FPS, so the percentage is probably a little bit lower, but 177 on the non-overclocked and 190 average on the overclocked. And that's on 1080p, but if you guys have these, more than likely you guys are going to be on that uh, 1440p, which was uh, right back here. <coughs> and that was the uh, 10 FPS gain. Now he does do a couple more games. This is Jay's Two Cents video, so definitely go check this out if you guys want to. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is the video that my buddy got all of his settings from. So check it out if you guys are trying to overclock that new 5080. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of skipping this real quick, but uh, we'll go back. 4K Wukong right here. Now this one is uh, definitely not as good. 58 average on the non-overclocked one and 61.5 on the overclocked 5080. but. It is a little something. I'm not really, I don't really play Black Myth Wukong, but if you, if you do, you know what I'm saying? Get you a couple FPS. Now we're on to uh, Borderlands 3. Again, not too crazy, but you're getting 8 FPS. So the Founders Edition, not overclocked, is 108, with the uh, overclocked one being 116 on the average. Let's see, uh, 1440p, is it any different? You're getting 11, but again, it is more frame, so not necessarily like a, a higher number 
percentage wise. Um, 188 over 197 for the overclocked one. Nothing too crazy, but like I said, 9 FPS gain right there at 1440p. Again, you're probably not on 1080p, but if you are, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to sit here and talk about you, you know. Let's go check out uh, Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk is uh, definitely not as, as exciting. We're getting about 2 FPS difference at uh, 4K ray tracing mediums preset. Nothing crazy there. 1440p, let's see if it's any different. It does not look like it is. We are about 3 FPS difference. It seems more like, uh, I'm wondering if like multiplayer games or something like that would be, like those are the ones you're going to get more games on. I don't know. That's just, that's just a thought. If you guys have one and you guys are doing tests, definitely let me know in the comment section. But uh, like I said, my buddy's going to do a lot of tests, so I will find out eventually. Like I said, he's got the uh, Astral 5080. It's a very nice looking card. I'm not going to lie, that fourth fan, you know what I'm saying? Doing work back there. Overall, we got uh, Horizon Forbidden West at 4K. Let's see the difference. 50, 80, non. We're only getting a 6 FPS difference here. He did say uh, at the beginning of this video that it's about 10% on average. But I'd say 10% is damn good for a little bit of a free performance. Now, I think he does have his fan curve at 100. I don't know if I would do that. Just check the video out. You know what I'm saying? If you guys don't feel comfortable doing it. Don't do it. If Jay's two cents has got his to do it, I I would imagine that you guys could just put your settings close to what he has. Don't quote me. I'm not an overclocker, but uh, definitely check it out. 10% is 10%. 1440p, uh, kind of looking like 10 FPS, which isn't too crazy. But again, if you got a 144 hertz monitor and it's getting you a little bit closer to it, you know what I'm saying? 138 average FPS right there. Uh, with the overclocked version, definitely might be worth it. We got Stalker 2, 4K epic presets, and we're getting about a 5 FPS average. So really, it looks like he started out this video with the uh, with one of the biggest gains. But again, if you guys are playing Call of Duty, I was literally right next to a buddy, side by side, and the headset's talking. Obviously, uh, we didn't stay together the whole exact time because we did finish the whole game. But again... Him only getting like 10 FPS on average less than me on Rebirth Island. It's pretty good, uh, pretty good little overclock. I'm not gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I made a video previously saying to that it might be a good idea to get a 4090, but this was before the sales happened to the 5080, 5090. Now that those are gone, all the 5090 deals or 4090 deals are gone as well. So you can still find those used 4090s out there, but they are nowhere near the price that they were before the, the launch day or the paper launch day, the non-launch day of the 5090. 5080, I guess, had somewhat decent stock, but again, a lot of people wanted that 5090. That was all the charts he had for the games that he tested on his overclock, but again, a little 10%. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's not 10% every game, but it also is a little bit more than 10% some games so i would definitely check out his video and uh do a little overclock you know why not you're getting a little free fps uh i could understand if you guys don't want to like maybe push your fans a little a little harder or you know what i'm saying use some more power but um from what my buddy was saying it really wasn't using too much more power or any at all so again check out jay's video i appreciate you if you guys made it this far in this video Help your boy out by liking, subscribing, and uh, comment below. Have a great day. On to the next one.